Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. You guys can hear me now. Sorry about last episode. That's my fault, uh, but... Must be Eskel's prince. No one else has left the keep recently. You guys get, can hear my beautiful voice enough. One episode of failed. No comm is alright. You guys can live with it. I think there's been like one episode per playthrough that I've had a no comm episode on accident. See, I mute my mic when during cutscenes and stuff like that so I can kind of shift around and move my chair and uh, blow my nose or whatever, or sneeze if I have to, <laughs> or whatever it may be that I need to do. I'd mute my mic during cutscenes so I can do it. Usually it's just to adjust and move my chair, because uh, usually my chair is, I can never get my chair into the position I want it in, but so it happens every once in a very, 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 very great while that I don't realize to unmute it and I really should stop muting it because it's asking for this to, to happen like it just is asking for what happened last episode to happen on a regular basis like I'm just asking for it what I should do is I should get a light um not like a big I don't know I need like a light with a switch and then so I can turn the switch on when I turn when I mute my mic so I realize oh hey the lights lit up uh or whatever something like that or, I don't know. I don't know what else I could do, but something like horse. that. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. And hey, look, it's a wolf. Okay, examine the area. But I... Footprints. And hoofprints. A goat. Interesting. Um, Rocks. D d Tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. It's on one of these trees. Which tree is it? Um. What the hell, which tree is it? Oh my god, wolf, go away. Which tree? This tree? Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh. Stench. I would just turn on my 360, but that makes a ton of noise. It sounds like an air, which is its design, I guess, but it sounds like a freaking aircraft carrier when you turn it on. This is literally the most ridiculous. It, it, it's cool, but it kind of lost its its excitement. <laughs> like I lost. Eskel's it. tracks. The nose knows. I lost my excitement for the noise because it's annoying now. Didn't tie itself to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. The end's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise, to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Looks aren't everything. Certainly not to all women. You're right. But most like a full purse, too. Don't have much to brag about in that domain, either. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. Let's do it! Did not mute my mic that time because I ain't risking that. What now, you piece of filth? Die for sale. Damn it! It's taking off! Hit the wings! Run! It flies slow as hell. Keep up with it. Where's the. Ah, uh, Roach, no, Roach, take too long. I already know where I need to go, I don't need to track it. 
watch. I won't remember where Not to go. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved his lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find it. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Alright, time to go and kill this fork tail. There you are, you little bitch. And that'll do her. That'll do it. Alright, let's collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Great. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna loot it. Alright, let's go ahead and get on out of here. I could have done this in the last episode. I thought it took longer than six minutes. But I guess I was wrong. But I guess we'll just do everything in this episode then. We'll just do the... The, the getting rid of the curse on Avalok. We'll just do that in this episode. I'll race him back because... Well, yeah, I'll race him back. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! Because I think you have to ride back anyway, so I might as well race him back. Okay, let's go. No, what the hell? A button. Get out of my way, dear. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, we're gonna we'll do the revival of or the breaking the curse of Avalok in this episode. I think I'm gonna play some Dead Space because I do not want to do the Isle of Mist right now. I just don't want to do it. That and the play, my two least favorite parts of this game. By far. I hate the play, and I hate the Isle of Mist. So stupid. Whoever created that at CD Projekt Red can burn in hell, because that island sucks. I, I, I went hella clutch on my death march, beat that shit. I only died once, and it was to that one-hit fiend, and then I did, I did clutch it out against the fiend. I'll look at the cutoff. The cutoff! Come on now. Whew. Those races really aren't hard. There's a ton of races. I've seen some of them. Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Come on. Not gonna take anything from you. Buy me around sometime and we'll call it good. Done deal. He just gives you some boots. Like, I don't need that. Okay, so we need to spend the evening with the other witchers. And we leveled up to level 17. Alright, so... We got two points available. Let's go ahead... Put them in... Heightened Tolerance. Trial of Grasses. How many points do you have to put in? Eight. So if I put into there, I'll be able to. And then, I think I'll put into... Uh, let's see. Is it this one? Yeah, here it's this one. Then we'll go into that one. But we still got a little while off on doing that. Let's come up here. We'll spend the evening with the witchers. 
I won't play any Gwent. I haven't done like any Gwent in this playthrough. I can't wait to start the completionist so I can play Gwent again, because I just decided there wasn't a point to do Gwent for this playthrough. It just didn't make any sense. This is mostly just about speedrunning the story. What the hell? There we go. Mostly just about speedrunning the story and ending, seeing the ending of what happens when you end up with Triss. The main story, the, the point of this whole thing was to, the story with Triss, and then I fucked it up on the Now or Never quest. Like, that's just you, that's just how it goes. I don't even know why I'm surprised. That's just how it goes. And how did Lambert beat me up here? That's the real question. Got you everything you need. Splendid. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement. To seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. Don't take this the wrong way, Vesemir, but clock's ticking. I ask only one night's delay. If nothing comes of it, we'll do what Yennefer wants. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is... Managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. 
The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a Witcher. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Bedtime. Speak for yourself. Night's still young as I see it. <laughs> but we're not. And tomorrow's a big day. Fine. Drinking with my mirror image is just no fun. At least it wasn't last time. See? Even you can't stand yourself. Good night. dream. See everyone's up and at him. Mmm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma. Till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh, no. But we'll, uh, get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first. But as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? 
because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data, ran simulations. Meaning you guessed. Potions ready. Tools too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <coughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. doing this wiping vomit off the floor no the trial if that's Siri in there she could come out of this crippled wrong in the head just emotionless thought about that I trust Yen she knows what she's doing don't doubt that but do we know what she's doing she tell you how likely this is to work gentlemen the floors as clean as it'll ever be and I need to be wiped down as well Geralt, maybe you ought to... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. Yes. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it. Or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen. You're dozing off. 
No, just resting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. I don't know. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Kerak? Just after we... Decided to take a break, yeah. My swords had disappeared, doesn't matter how. And Dandelion insisted I had to be armed. Decided he'd buy me a weapon. Came to me beaming. The truest Verulogen steel. Good price, too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, blade shattered first parry I threw. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Never severe. Kaniatad, Nevid, Savir, Kowal, Ariva, Endir. No, no, I won't let you. Geralt, yellow flask, in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never severe. Koal, Koal, Kaniatad. Nevid. Kariva. Endir. Geralt, the phylactery, open it! Canitad, Taran Anade, this! Everywhere, and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Ravain. Arwen. Siren. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. But if she leaves, they will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? We'll be waiting for them, swords in hand. Yes. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise. And they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? 
Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Let's go ahead and level up here real quick. Uh, we can get... I might as well put it in here and then with the next point we'll grab up what I want and throw it down here. But that's going to do it for this episode guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We will be going... Uh, we'll talk to Zoltan and Ermian and I, maybe Dijkstra. Maybe Dijkstra will help us now. I don't know. Since I'm trying to end up with Triss, maybe that's what he wants, but I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.